the Magnum and Country Flame line of corn and wood pellet units come with two different forms of lighting the appliance. One would be the traditional way, which would be to light it with a regular match and using starter fuel and wood pellet fuel. The other way would be to use a self-ignition system. The Countryside series of corn and pellet appliances do not have the option for an automatic ignition system, so you would have to light those appliances the traditional way. The Baby Countryside and the Winchester series both come with the option to either light the stove manually or light the stove with automatic ignition. In this demonstration, we're going to talk a little bit about the automatic ignition systems, how they operate, and how you will be able to use this in your appliance. If you're running your appliance in the manual mode, you would simply add in a handful of wood pellets if you happen to be burning corn in the appliance, or if you're burning wood pellets in the appliance as your standard form of fuel, you would simply push the start button on the control center and the unit would start to feed fuel into the fire pot and after about 60 seconds the automatic igniter would start to engage. To talk just a little bit about the ignition system. There is no flame with the auto igniter. The cartridge that's located inside of the ignition tube is a hot element that heats up super red hot and distributes heat down through the tube in the form of a superheated air and this air goes down into the fire pot at the base of the unit and that's what heats the fuel up to the kindling temperature. Wood pellets will ignite between 3 and 400 degrees Fahrenheit temperature and corn needs somewhere between 7 and 800 degrees Fahrenheit temperature so whenever you're lighting corn you want to be able to take a handful of wood pellets put into the fire pot, turn the system on, and the automatic ignition will light the wood pellets. The corn fuel will come down into the fire pot on top of the wood pellets, and it will ignite the whole system. Keep in mind again that the igniter does not produce a flame, so you will not see a flame coming out of the end of the igniter. What you will notice when you're looking in the fire pot and you actually see the end of the igniter is you'll see that it is glowing red hot inside. You do not want to put your hand in and touch it because it is a superheated igniter system. That heated air again will go into the fire pot and that's what will ignite the fuel. If you're running your appliance on a thermostat setting here's exactly how the system will work. When the thermostat calls for heat the unit will automatically engage by itself and after 60 seconds of fuel running into the fire pot the igniter will turn on and it takes typically from three to five minutes for the system to actually be able to light up the fuel. If the fuel is not lit after 10 minutes the system will cycle itself down and it will try to relight one more time and if it will not light during that time frame the system will shut off and it will stay completely shut off. If you have the DC Baby Countryside or Winchester appliance and you happen to be off the power grid and on the DC power, so in other words, if you're running off of a battery, if you're running off of solar or running off of wind power, the automatic ignition system will not work, but you're able to light the appliance manually, here again, using the standard method of just taking some wood pellet fuel, some starter gel, and a match and lighting the system. Now let's say that you come home and the system is shut down and when you go to re-engage the unit again the igniter system won't engage. This is an indication that the igniter may be faulty but you still want to use your appliance. So what you do is you open up the back of the appliance and you unplug the leads that go into the igniter and leave them separated, do not bypass them, and you're able to fire up the unit manually as if you would in any other situation. The expected life of the ignition system should be several years. So what you want to be careful to prolong the life of the ignition system is run your unit for long periods of time. 
If you have a small home or if you have a tendency to want to only use the unit for an hour or two a day, you're turning the unit off and off continuously and this can be very hard on the ignition system. So the best life that you can get out of the ignition system would simply be by turning your appliance on and running it for as long a period of time as possible. The easiest way to do this is make sure that your unit is on a little bit lower heat setting so that it'll run longer in between intervals going on and off, particularly if you're in the fully automatic mode.